Hey everybody, welcome to the Yoga Bunny Podcast, Episode 2. I'm going to read my second book, A Friend for Yoga Bunny. If you have it, you can follow along with me. Okay. Bunny, that's me, started every morning the same way, doing yoga. Sometimes I couldn't wait to practice yoga with my friends. But some days, like today, I was happy to do yoga all by myself. I took a deep breath in, lifted my leg up, 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 and gently kicked into leaf pose. Let's do this one together. Just stand up, kick your leg out. That felt good. As I breathed out and opened my eyes, I saw a great big bear. Hello, I said. Why are you hiding behind that tree? You see, tomorrow is my birthday, replied Bear shakily. Happy birthday, I said. Birthdays are great. Not this birthday, Bear sighed. My family's throwing me a big party, and I don't like being the center of attention. It makes my paws get sweaty and my heart beat really fast. Well, I said, whenever you're feeling anxious or nervous, yoga can help you feel better. Wanna practice with me? Bear had never done yoga before, but she figured it was worth a try. I showed Bear how to arch her belly to the ground like a cow and how to round her back like a cat. Should we try doing these poses together? and how to take deep breaths in and out. As we gently flowed from pose to pose, Bear had an idea. We should make cat and cow noises while doing the poses, she said excitedly. Or is yoga supposed to be serious? I looked up and let out a big moo. Bear smiled. Then we both rounded our backs and went, meow. Then we laughed and laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I showed Bear how to do camel pose. We knelt up tall, arched our backs, and pressed our hearts forward to a rainbow in the sky. Then Bunny, that's me, and Bear sat under a tree where everything was calm and still. It's okay to feel nervous, Bear, I said. When my paws get sweaty and my heart beats really fast, I just let nervous thoughts or feelings come and go, as if they were clouds in the sky. Does that work? asked Bear. Sometimes, I calmly replied. I'm doing yoga tomorrow with my friends. You should come. Bear wasn't sure about doing yoga with a bunch of animals she didn't know, but... She told me she'd think about it. The next morning, I crawled out of my hole, excited to do yoga. I was especially excited that my new friend might be there. But Bear wasn't there. Still, me and my friend closed our eyes, we pressed our hands together, and we sat quietly through a meditation warm-up. Let's take a moment and do that together. I couldn't stop wondering if I had done something to upset Bear, but then I remembered that it's important to let feelings come during yoga, but it's also important to let them go. I calmed my mind as I breathed in and out and said, Um. And when I opened my eyes again, I saw my new friend sitting right there. Bear, I'm so glad you're here. I said. I started to practice on my own, said Bear, but I realized that yoga, just like my birthday, is better with friends. And with that, Bear breathed in and breathed out. Wow, look at this birthday party that Bear's having. Oh, there's presents and balloons and even a cake. Wow. 
I wonder where that cake came from. Where do you think the cake came from? Who do you think baked that cake? Well, that's my second story. Thanks so much for reading it with me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!